hello to all my friends. I'm back again today with another block in our series called Heartfelt Adventures. Uh, this is block number nine and nine of 12. So we're getting close to the end, but this one features a Bargello section across the top and bottom. And if you've never made a Bargello quilt, this might be a great place for you to start. Uh, I go over in the tutorial, I go over all of the, the techniques that you need to know to make a Bargello. So I uh, hope you enjoy that. And also the applique this time is a lollipop, just something fun to put in the center. So I hope that you will enjoy making the lollipop as well. Now uh, stay tuned for the little tutorial that comes up next because I'll have the step-by-step -step instructions. And go ahead and stop by when you get a chance and pick up your kit. And thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Now I'd like to show you these arrows that I have here indicating the direction of the way I sewed from the sewing machine. So when you're doing a bar jello or any strip set for that matter, if you will sew one seam this direction and then the next seam next to that this direction and so forth and so on throughout the strip set, then you won't get this bowed effect. Sometimes when you go to press your strip sets, you might see that it's curved. But if you'll alternate the direction of your seams, it makes for a nice flat strip set. attach your rows together um, you want to make sure your seam allowances are pressed opposite each other so that when you match this up one seam allowance row goes down and one goes up I'll show you how I like to nest mine together um, I like to use pins I like to go through the top seam allowance around the back seam allowance. See how I went around that? It seems to help it lay flat. Now I don't pin every single one. Sometimes I do every other one. Sometimes I don't, depending. But this one, see how I go down in this one around the back side and it just seems to hold it nested in place there. I'll do one more. down through the top side, around the back side, and up through. And now when you stitch this together, you, sit, you should have nicely little nested seams here. Okay? Let's see how we do. 